Hi, my name is Juan Miller Escandon. I'm an operations project engineer. I'm Madison Tuttle. I'm a public affairs specialist supporting the landing and recovery team. My name is Steven Barranco. I am the Comet Landing and Recovery Flow Manager. Hi, I'm Nate Hickman. I'm our Landing and Recovery Groundhouse Manager. I'm Chad Gilpin. I'm the Air Operations Coordinator and Lead for Artemis Soup. I'm Randy Nash. I'm the Assistant Air Operations Coordinator, Landing and Recovery for Artemis Soup. My favorite part about the job is getting to go on the Navy ship for seven days or so. Um, something that I never thought I would do for work and getting to see this trainer um, being deployed and recovered, it's really exciting. My favorite thing about being the public affairs specialist for landing and recovery is actually being out, you know, on the ocean with the team and seeing them in action. Uh, I'm really biased, but I think my job is really great because I get to be there to document not only from a historical perspective what the team is doing, but share all of this uh, with the world and get them really excited about Artemis. The camaraderie of the team. You've got a great group of people that really know what they're doing. It's inspiring when they are presented with a challenge and they come up with a solution and they overcome. Uh, I like seeing that. You get proud of the work that they're doing. I'm really privileged to work with NASA, the United States Navy, and to be trusted to get in the uh, helicopter and go out there and make sure our folks get back safe. Same as Chad, I'm, I'm just uh, excited about working with the Navy and uh, being able to be around the helicopters, working with the flight crew. It's a, it's a incredible experience. On day of recovery, I'm really looking forward to being able to see our crew come back home and be part of the first people to greet them after their 10 day journey around the The thing that I'm looking forward to most about the Artemis II mission and splashdown and recovery, I think is seeing the parachutes uh, come down and Orion about to touch down in the ocean. I was out on the ship uh, for the Artemis One landing and hearing those sonic booms and seeing the excitement of everyone on board uh, was just a great reminder of the really awesome stuff we're doing here at NASA. The pride of accomplishment for Artemis, uh, for landing and recovery, for getting that next major mission milestone done. Very few people in the world that can say they, they've ever done that. Uh, it's gonna be exciting uh, to see the astronauts return safely. And I know that they're gonna be full of adrenaline. So I'm looking forward to on the day of recovery and, and it, I think everybody gets this question, but it's kind of unique for us for, for the ground up side or myself, I'm not on the ship. So uh, we're back on the shore, we're waiting for the ship to come back. Uh, the ship goes out and it's, it has all the people on it, you know, the, the air crew and all the people that recover the capsule and the astronaut help and everything else. Um, and they go out and they, they do their job and, and it's a big part and that's what you get on the camera and everything. Um, but for us, uh, my team, specifically myself, we're back on shore waiting for that capsule to come back. So um, when I watched it like an Artemis One, we watched it on a big TV at the hotel. Uh, and I stood there with Charlie Blackwell Thompson and we actually stood there and watched it land. And that was kind of neat. So. Probably for this time again, we'll be back in front of that TV watching it. And what I'm looking for is everybody's gonna say the crew being safe and off, and I agree, that's the most important part. But then when my job kind of kicks in, it's to make sure that like, really there's nothing wrong with the vehicle. That's kind of what I'm looking for, is to make sure that that vehicle's in that ready known state, nothing, nothing's really wrong so we can do our job and uh, get it back a little bit easier. On game day, I'm really looking forward to being part of history, find, fix, and track these four astronauts back uh, safely. Uh, get them back on the ship, get them back home with their families, and really be a great part of this, uh, this this piece of history. Looking forward to the same thing. Make sure that we get the astronauts to crew home safe, and uh, make sure that the operations are conducted safe.